Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to transfer your vinyl to your computer using the Akai Pro BT500 turntable and the included Easy Vinyl Converter software. Before we start, make sure that you've properly assembled the BT500, connected it to your computer via USB, and powered it on. If you have a PC, the first time you plug the BT500 into your computer, you'll see Windows automatically recognize it, but it may take a minute to install. Be patient and allow the class compliant driver discovery to complete. On a Mac, your computer should recognize the turntable right away. Next, you need to download Easy Vinyl Converter. Open a web browser on your computer and visit www.akaipro.com slash software download. This page gives you everything you need to register your product and download the included software. We recommend registering your product, but you do also have the option to download Easy Vinyl Converter from the BT500 product page on the Akai website. Just click the link for the version that you need, Mac or PC. If you already have an account with us, log in by clicking the link here. If you don't have an account yet, click the link below to create one. Enter the requested information and follow the steps to finish creating your account. Once you're done, log in and download Easy Vinyl Converter for Mac or PC, depending on what kind of computer you have. Remember where you downloaded the file to and double click the icon. Follow the instructions to install the software. This should only take a minute. If you're on a Mac, the installation screens will look a little bit different than this, but it's mostly the same. Just follow the prompts and allow installation to complete. Once Easy Vinyl Converter is installed, you'll be asked if you want to launch the software right away. You can uncheck this box if you don't want to start right now, but we're on a roll, so let's leave it checked. When Easy Vinyl Converter opens, the first screen asks to make sure that your audio device is connected. Your audio device means the Akai BT500. Double check that your turntable is still connected via USB and power it on, and then click Next. The next screen asks you to get your music ready to play. Start playing a record on the BT500. Turn on the platter, place the needle on your record. You should see activity on the level meters in the software. You should also hear the music playing out of your computer speakers. If you need to turn the level down or up, there's a gain slider next to the level meters in the software. If the meters are empty, or if you don't hear your record playing through the computer, check Windows Sound Setup. The recording device should be set to USB audio codec. And playback should be set to your default computer speakers, usually indicated as Realtek high definition audio, but it may be different. Just make sure that the playback device isn't also set to USB audio codec. Again, with a Mac, as long as you don't have other USB audio devices connected to your computer, it should be plug and play. With your settings adjusted correctly, you should be all set. Before you press record, select whether you want Easy Vinyl Converter to split up your tracks automatically or if you'd like to do it yourself during recording. Easy Vinyl Converter can automatically split tracks by detecting the silence in between songs. It usually works really well, especially on pop or rock records, but on material where the pause between songs isn't as obvious, such as spoken word or live recordings, you'll likely want to separate the tracks yourself. Let's do that and begin recording. During recording, you'll see the recording time and the track number. To create a new track, just hit the New Track button. The recording resets, as well as the timer. Once you've finished recording, enter all the recording or album information and choose a save location. Note that on a Mac, your recordings will automatically be exported to iTunes, so you don't have to choose a specific save location. But if you're on a PC, select a folder to save your music in. After you're done, just hit Next. The final screen will ask if you'd like to record something else, open your saved folder location, or simply close Easy Vinyl Converter. I'd like to see my files and listen to what I've recorded right away, so I'm going to open Save Location. This takes me right to the folder I saved my recordings to so that I could listen to them, or import them into my favorite music library software. And that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you found it helpful and that you enjoy converting your record collection to a digital format. Thanks for watching, and until next time.